Hey guys, so today's video is inspired by a hairstylist, Gemini Twin Shawnee. This is such a cute hairstyle, especially for the upcoming season. And I'm going to recreate a mixture of these two looks with ponytail hair that she used. So stay tuned if you're interested in seeing this hairstyle tutorial. So I'm starting with stretched hair. I would definitely recommend you to have your hair straightened if you want it to look really sleek and perfect and the parts to be like super straight like in the um, Instagram photos. But I'm using some black braiding hair instead of the two-tone color hair because I just didn't know how that would look on me. But you can definitely try it. You can try the 1B mixture with 30 to get the hair color or 27. But I just chose to get like a natural black 1B color. But like I said, for the ombre effect, you can mix the hair or you can feed in like right where I'm at right now in that section. So it won't look like, you know, it just won't look ratchet basically. <laughs> but yeah, this is just the two braids. And for this hairstyle, I'm just going to braid them into two ponytails. I'm not just going to braid all the way down to the end. I'm going to braid it and then put a ponytail holder on the end of it, like right at the root of um, where my nape is to keep it tighter and to wrap the actual tracks around. And you'll see that in a second. And so I know you're tired of looking at these raggedy edges, so I'm gonna go ahead and sleek them up first with my favorite edge control. This is the Even New York Edge Control, the purple top. And that is like, the, I'm serious, like it's like the best. I haven't even added any gel, and you can see how it's already like sitting in place. So I have like a little concoction to keep them in place. I use this first, and then I use um, brown gel, the old school brown gel from Ampro Styling Company or Ampro and then I just use either an edge brush or just any kind of flat tooth, well not flat tooth, but a skinny comb to just comb up my edges and kind of sleek them. And if you have sparse edges, Eben also has an edge control that has like color. It has like 1B, they have one that has number one, number four, number two, so if you have like a light brown dusty hair color. It'll, they have it for you also so that you can just put it on your edges and it kind of fills it in basically. You don't have to worry about it like sliding off or anything like that and it's not really nasty filling or anything. It's just like a regular gel but it kind of, it just fills in your edges. Now I totally forgot to do my nape area but I tied it down so that it could stay sleek but I made the mistake of only keeping it on for like a few minutes. like. 20 minutes but I would recommend you keeping your scarf on tight for at least an hour or two to make the edges lay so I'm using hair for my hair company this is my ombre Brazilian um, Brazilian number 1 24 and 30 not 24 1b 27 and 30 and I'm just going to add one track of that just to color like basically give a color effect or ombre and I'm going to take the black Brazilian body wave hair and I'm going to start pinning at the bottom. This is to guarantee you get a skinny ponytail at the, you know, at the root. You don't want a super thick ponytail on the braid. So you're gonna start wrapping it upwards so we don't have to use any glue on this whole process. Just wrap it up and then put a few more bobby pins or hair pins on the actual braid. And it's going to be secure. And after, you know, I finish it, the whole thing with the extra, extra braid, to wrap it around it's going to be even more tighter because we're going to add more pins but this uh to complete this whole hairstyle i only use about two not probably like two bags of hair and i use a 16 inch so both of these are 16 inch but i really didn't have to use the whole thing because i kind of wanted it to still look thin as you can see like as far as the actual um base of the ponytail i wanted it to be thin i didn't want it to be bulky but the hair is going to look volumized once you curl it. So, yeah. And I'm also having a 15% off hairstyle if you're interested. The links are in the description box. And I have a daily 10% off code every day for my subscribers. 
if you want you know Brazilian hair now you can use any kind of pack hair or what have you for this hairstyle but this is just what I had on hand So I've already created a long braid with some extra braiding hair and if you're interested in you know seeing how I did that I did not record it but what I did was I wrapped some of the hair around a skinny object at my house that would move like a mirror base and then I actually hand braided it and then I cut both of the ends and I put a rubber band around it and this is the cutest way to secure the um, base you start wrapping it at the bottom and then wrap all the way upwards and then you can kind of wrap it backwards some also towards the um you know the end of the ponytail just to make it look cuter and then just secure it with a bobby pin or hair pin and that's basically it or you can just take a piece of the hair from the bottom and then put some gel on it to keep it sleek and then wrap it around the ponytail base to secure it and hide the tracks or extensions but I just think that this braid adds like an accent to it and it looks really cute and that's basically it for this hairstyle but I know you guys see the black hair on the other side I guess I was trying to show you guys how it would look with just the black hair on that side which is normal but I also messed up on that side because I this is my first time trying this hairstyle and so I I made the ponytail base too big it was just too thick I started wrapping it at the base instead of going down some like towards the middle of the French braid that I created and then wrapping upwards now you can see where the braid is but I promise you once once the hair is curled you won't even be able to see the braid and this is only if you have longer hair so you know if your hair is shorter you don't have to worry about that but yeah this is just me curling the hair you can do wand curls or you can get a barrel curling iron this is the only one that I have though. I broke my curling iron. And yeah, this is basically it. It is a lot. It seems like a lot of hair, but I wanted to make sure that I got all of the pieces so that at the end there won't be like a wavy piece. And you can also try curly natural hair so that you won't even have to do all of this. But that's basically it. Thumbs up if you like this tutorial. This was before the curls. And it's secured. And this is afterwards. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.